Hello and welcome. I am Harish and in this channel I talk about various no code tools using which you can build pretty much anything from a website to a mobile app or even automations. And this video is the fourth episode of building with tally.so. So far we have covered various aspects of tally.so including multi page forms and this episode will be how you can integrate your tally.so forms and collect data into Google Sheets. So we look at how you can quickly integrate this into Google Sheet, collect data into Google Sheet right from Tally.so, right? The only thing that you need is a Google account, obviously for Google Sheets and a Tally.so account. With that, let's get quickly started. In the last video, we have left here where we have checked the responses of the user getting shown up. Uh, for a multi-page form and what we will do in this video is try and create a form and then link it to a Google Sheet. What we will also do as part of this example is try and use an existing template that others have made public on the platform, right? With that, let's quickly go back to our dashboard here and let's say create new form, right? Once I click on that, this is the page that you will get, right? A default page. Now what I'm going to do instead of creating with an empty form, I'm going to do start with a template and use some existing template. These are all the templates that people have made public that you can use. There are various categories that are available. Product, creators, marketing, HR, office, personal. And what we'll do is let's quickly do a simple form. You can build quizzes also. There are various interesting templates guys. you should definitely check these out and they are these are obviously free to use. So I don't know why you should not check this out, right? So let's quickly select a form. Let's uh, select a simple form, I guess. Yeah, let's do a contact form. If you click on this, it'll show what the form is and then allows you to use it. So there's a name, email, basic details of the user and then use this template. Let's click on use this template and it should replicate for you right in your this thing along with the thank you page, right? So the name is first name, last name, phone number. These are the fields on the form. You can add additional fields if you want. And then in the thank you page, one of the concepts that we haven't discussed so far is customizing the form with the response that the user gives you. So here in the thank you page, if you notice, there is a text that says, thanks for contacting us at first name, which means whatever the user fills up in the first name field will show up here. And the text is obviously will be in touch today. To be able to use user's responses, all you have to do is use at the rate and then the uh, input field that you have in the form. Right, that will print the user's response here. Right, so, okay. Yeah, so we have our form ready. Let's just publish this form. Once you publish it, you know now by now that you get a URL that you can share wherever you want. You can embed it on the website or even convert it into a template. I mean, we've already used a template in this case, so don't create a template for the same form, guys. It's just duplicate, useless. Right, you know by now that we have different settings available for our form. We can close the form whenever we want. We close the form also on a scheduled date. We can redirect the user to a different link and all of that. If you don't know how to do all of that, check the first episode. Uh, link is in the description below. And now this video is about obviously linking Google Sheets to this form so that the responses get directly stored in a Google Sheet, right? You can then share that sheet with anybody you want or do analytics over the sheet, whatever you want on the sheet, right? So let's click on integrations. Integrations is where you can find bunch of integrations. In this one, we are only going to talk about Google Sheets. But the next one, we are going to talk about how you can use Notion and push the data from here to Notion. So if you haven't seen that, or if you're excited about that, uh, the link already should be in the description below or the playlist if you're watching the playlist. So I'm going to click connect here against Google Sheets because we are only looking at Google Sheets. Once I click connect, what happens is the login form for Google will show up in a pop-up. I probably won't be able to show that because my emails are visible in that. I'm just going to authorize my Gmail uh, and then it should basically connect, right? So you just have to authorize using your Gmail account wherever you want the Google Sheet to be created it, essentially. Once you do that, what will happen is you notice here that the sheet is connected and the responses are already synced with this spreadsheet and you get the link to the spreadsheet directly. Now, if you click on that link, it should open up the Google Sheet that has been created for you in your Google Drive with the columns here, right? The first two columns and the submitted field are default fields. 
so there is a response id respondent id first name last name phone number email basically all the fields that we have created right now what we should do is let's quickly check if this works or not so what i'm going to do is go back to responses sorry go back to share copy the form url let's open up the form url and try and submit some details right by now you know my name is harish so i'll just enter harish again let's also see if the record fields are working or not they're absolutely working fine so the phone number i'm not going to enter because it's an optional one i'm just going to quickly enter my work email and then topic of your question is uh, general how do i integrate like google sheets let's say that is my submission right i'm just going to do submit and it should say thank you for contacting this harish harish is what i entered so it showed up my name the form is done we have submitted form is successful if i go back to the sheet let's see the submission is visible here i didn't enter phone number so it didn't obviously capture it and everything else is captured so that's how basically the integration works and if you also want to see responses here you can see it by going to the responses tab and they should show up here without doing anything right so these are the responses inside the platform itself and uh, these are the responses inside the google sheet that we linked right so that's the quick example of how you can connect a google sheet to your tally.so form without having to do anything related to code or writing any piece of code or going anywhere outside of this platform i hope you've liked that video drop a like if that was useful consider subscribing if you are really into no code and if you know somebody who's looking for a developer Please ask them to check out my channel because this channel is all about building without coding. With that, see you in the next episode of Building with Tally.so. Peace.